incorrect. All right. So, <laughs> yo, welcome to our first live stream. This is going to be a very rough product, uh, so I apologize in advance. We are going to be attempting to play uh, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, as you may be able to discern so far. My plan is to go from seven to about eight, so we'll get through however many maps we can. Unless, of course, I find that, you know, something's just really not working with OBS or just some facet of the streaming that I'm not familiar with. So, without further ado, let me unpause. And there we are. So, we will indeed be beginning a new game. Unless I hit B first, of course. All right, well, we're going to be doing this on normal. Uh, gameplay tutorials should not need those. Long ago, Medius, king of the dragonkin, conquered the continent, continent indeed, continent of Arcanea, giving rise to an age of fear and despair for all its people. That tyranny was broken, however, when an unlikely hero intervened. A young man hailing from the Altea region appeared with a divine blade in hand. Frames are not wonderful, but they're working well enough, I presume. Fang of dragon and blade of light locked in battle, and in the end, blade prevailed. For some time after, the land enjoyed an age of peace. However, after a century's passing, the Shadow Dragon returned. Waiting for it to get a little ahead of me. Okay, there we go. He forged an alliance with a fiendish sorcerer who sought to rule the world. And their combined might toppled kingdom upon unsuspecting kingdom. Again, darkness threatened to engulf the continent. It fell upon the king of Altea, sole descendant of the dragon slayer hero, to sally forth with the divine blade and fulfill his blood destiny. His son, Prince Marth, remained at home with the boy's mother, his elder sister, and a garrison manned by Altea's neighbor and ally, Gra. Thus, the boy applied himself to the ways of both pen and sword, until one day. And I believe this is where the pre uh, the uh, prologue begins? Yes. Prologue 1. All right. <laughs> Next frame. Here we are. Prince Marth, are you awake? Begging your pardon, sire. But the princess has asked to see you. We may also just, you know, be starting this with the text speed on slow, so we'll try to speed that up as well. Elise. Is she all right? She seemed to be, sire. But her words implied a certain urgency. She bade you dress quickly and wait by the throne. Well, it looks like he's already dressed, so that's not a problem. Has something happened? It's our forces off in Gra, sire. There seems to have been some sort of incident, but... Well, I'm not privy to the specifics. I see. Thank you. I'll be there shortly. Oh, you can also hit A to just jump to the end of the text line. Okay, then. You're not going to make me actually walk there, are you? My sister said she would meet me by the throne. Okay, you are going to make me walk there, aren't you? An incident in Gra? If Elise has news of our father, I pray it's good news. Well, she wouldn't have been telling you to get dressed and meet her by the throne if it was good news, I kind of think. Alright, so, checking, I 
think we've got a decent format going on with the overlay. Seems that we can, for the most part, see all the information that's necessary. <sighs> really gonna make me walk every step of the way, huh? Oh, oh maybe not. Over there, that's him, Prince Marth! Uh, hmm. You don't appear to be with us. Okay, we are really starting to chug along now. Well, who are you? We're soldiers of Gra, little prince. And if you know what's good for you, you'll surrender to us without making any trouble. Surrender? But that's ridiculous. Why would I surrender to the army of an allied kingdom? And get a hint! <laughs> they don't tell you much, do they? No matter, you'll have the full story soon enough. Now, lay down your sword! I will not! I am the Prince of Altea! I will not yield to you or any other nation here on my own land under my own castle roof! <laughs> you talk big, brat! Have it your way! If you won't lay down your sword, then we'll just have to take your life instead! Curious that your order is allowed for that. Alright. Enemy phase. Well, none of them are really close enough for this enemy phase to matter just a whole bunch. Yep, they're getting a little closer. Alright. Am I able to access the option? Ah, yes, I can. Alright, well, first things first. Let's get into these options right quick. Uh, yeah, leave the animations on for now. Game speed. What's the difference between fast and manual? Wait, game speed. That's not text speed. Yeah, message speed. Let's put that to max. Which probably is just instant, but that's what we want. Not sure what game speed means then. But we'll leave it on fast. See if it works. Uh... We'll leave enemy actions on for now if they start causing too many problems. We'll do what we can. Let's see. Auto cursor. Do we want... Yeah, that's fine. Auto end turns. Yes, I definitely want that. Help captions. Ah! Uh, yeah, we'll leave those on. HP gauges on. Sound output. Keep it stereo. Leave the music on. Sound effects on. Map brightness. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't know if we need any map brightness. Let's go ahead and put a bit of the grid visible. There we are. There we are, that's not too overwhelming. Alright, let's see. So, this guy will hit me this turn no matter what I do. Alright, so. Ooh, okay, come on, Cursor. Let's find a way over to Marth. There we are. Oh, but I have enough move to hit him too. Well, let's see, how far above him was his buddy? Okay, way far enough that I can pretty much attack these two and just be attacking these two. Well, in the interest of speeding things along, let's move to this side of this guy, and then attack. Come on, game. Okay, how many times am I going to have to hit A before we get some registration? Hello? Okay, there we go. Okay, so I am clearly going to need to do some settings adjustment to get this program to run better. Looks like 100% hit chance. Alright, so yep, we take minimal damage and almost definitely take him out. Ooh, these are not liking to load either. And this is a small map. Or at least I think it is. Everything we've seen of it so far has been small. Alright, excellent. Along with that dodge, we managed to completely take him out without taking any damage ourselves. This is not doing well. 
at the pace we're going with things being this problematic uh, tech-wise, I think we may go ahead and uh, finish this map out and then we'll go ahead and call today's stream. And hopefully, uh, my plan is to start doing these uh, weekly on Mondays. And so, uh, we're going to, once we call this today, I'll go ahead and that'll be it for the day. And then... Uh, we will still have the planned videos through the rest of the week, but those will actually have been recorded rather than streamed. Uh, meanwhile, this will go up. I'm not totally sure whether I'm going to edit them or just leave them unedited, but they will be available as a video on demand after they've been streamed on Monday. So if you miss the actual stream, you'll still be able to catch the episode afterwards. In all, it's problematic, not working glory. All right, well, it does seem that the fewer enemies you have on screen, the faster it moves. Kinda. All right. Why is it even asking me about items? I don't have any usable items. Whatever. All right, a spear limb could be a little bit more dangerous. Still only a damage of two, though, so I'm not that worried, honestly. All right. Yeah, six isn't going to do just a ton. It's only just now occurring to me. I don't know that I should be using the rapier. That could... I may want to be res uh, preserving its uses for enemies that it's actually super effective against rather than these regular soldiers. Yeah, and he has an iron sword. Let's equip that. Yeah, it's not that much worse. There we are. And then we'll attack. Alright, so yep, this time, even just one hit should take this guy out. Boom! Yep, the game definitely <laughs> get a few of the enemies off the screen, and the game's like, oh, okay, I can handle this! I think we're down to, like, one enemy, so it's like, oh, oh, just you and one other person? Yeah, I, c I, can, I can handle this. Let's see. Oh! This guy can only... Is he just stuck and unable to move or something? Okay, well, it's not handling things just, you know, stupendously. Come on! Let's move! Alright, can I capture that from there, or do I have to stand on the throne? Yep, I have to stand on the throne. Alright, whatever. For some weird reason, that guy's... Oh! Because he's going to talk to us, apparently. What? He's fighting back! I'll show him! Not if you can't move. Hey, you lied! No! The throne! Oh, okay. So they're going to teach us about the throne mechanics. I have to get rid of him before my sister arrives! Oh, he did that in between me. Okay. So no, he actually is. Excellent! This is the perfect place to move to then. Yeah, he can't do anything really to me. And... Yep, I got two attacks in, which means insta-kill with this next attack. Play a phase. Alright, let's end this. Potentially. There's a throne, so I may also have to take yet another turn to stand on the throne and capture it. Ugh. <sighs> I certainly hope I'm able to change a couple settings around and make this work. It runs halfway okay. <laughs> All right, we'll get through the story bit here and enter into the next chapter, and then we'll go ahead and call this. Marth, are you all right? Sister, what is happening? Steady yourself, Marth. I have grave news. Our father was defeated by the dull gr I didn't know how to pronounce that. So we're going to go with... We're going to pretend the H and the R are both silent and just say dull. The dull grust allied forces. Allied forces, even. What? No! It was Gra. Our own ally betrayed us and struck armors... Uh, read, self. <laughs> struck father's army from the rear. I... 
I am not sure if he is safe. The scouts who returned gave conflicting reports. Father, it can't be! As we speak, soldiers sent by Gra are trying to take the castle. Mother and I were separated during the escape. And apparently, Elise is unaware of the uh, small contingent that we had to take out in between then. I do not know where she is. Marth, I need you to listen to me. You must flee the castle. Go on without me. What? We've not many soldiers left. This is hard to bear, I know, but the castle is lost. We must face that. I will look for Mother and join you as soon as I can. You find Jagan and get away from here. Far away, understand? All right, but promise you won't be long. They may be the best kind, but I, I don't think that she's going to be that interested in making promises she can't keep. Goodbye, Marth. May you live long. Yeah, she's not expecting to get out of there. All right. Go ahead and save here. Yes. <laughs> when you're in menus, it runs like a charm. All right. Is this going to be dropping us into the middle of dialogue? Yes, it is. All right, I'll go ahead and pause. And I will uh, handle some saving and whatnot afterwards. So, once again, uh, thank you for joining me on this experiment that has gone eh, well, was, well, better than I hoped. I was, no, not better than I had hoped. <laughs> better than I expected. I expected it to just stop running at some point. So, uh, hopefully next time I can do some configuration changes and maybe we can have it move at a better FPS. So thanks for watching and we will catch you next time.